Where is Jesus right now? May peace be upon him. He is alive. He is in heaven. He is with Allah. We believe he is going to come back. Allah says, وَإِنَّهُ لَعِلْمٌ لِلسَّاعَةِ Indeed, he will be one of the signs of the coming of the hour. He will come down just before the hour. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam describes the place where he will come down. In Asham, at the moment it's the country of Syria. He says, the, the eastern part, a certain place, some of the scholars say, close to where the Amawi Masjid is today. And he will come down in a specific place. Allahu Akbar, he's going to come down towards the end of the time. And Allah says, وَإِمِّنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ إِلَّا لَيُؤْمِنَ النَّبِهِ قَبْلَ مَوْتِهِ وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ يَكُونُ عَلَيْهِمْ شَهِيدًا All the true people of the book will believe in him before his final death. When he comes, he will live for a certain number of years. He will rule, he will spread the truth, he will spread the oneness, he will destroy the cross, and he will do so many things. He will kill the Antichrist and what have you, and thereafter he will also die. And Allah says they will believe in him before he dies. He will come with these signs. And this is why Allah says, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُمْ They did not kill Jesus, nor did they crucify Jesus, but they were confused about him. وَإِنَّ الَّذِينَ اخْتَلَفُوا فِيهِ لَفِي شَكٍ مِّنْ And those who were disputing about this Judas, Allah says they were in doubt. Even when they were crucifying this man and even before and even after they are in plain doubt up to today who exactly was crucified if you take a look at the biblical versions of the crucifixion so many contradictions in the story so many you just have to pick up a book or two of comparative studies between Islam and Christianity and you will see the amount of discrepancies that are in the story of how Jesus was crucified because it was not Jesus who was crucified there was a face of Judas that was made to now look like Jesus. And this is why they crucified a man believing that he was the one, but because he was a traitor, he was punished by the Almighty. Now the Christians believe he died on the cross as a redemption for our sins. We Muslims say it is an injustice for us sitting here in Cape Town in this masjid to say there is a lot of adultery, a lot of armed robbery, a lot of sin. So in order for us to absolve ourselves from all this, let's pick the most pious from amongst us and crucify him in that corner. And inshallah, that will mean all our sins are expiated. That is injustice. The gravest injustice is to punish a person who did not commit the sin. So as Muslims, we believe it is blasphemous to think that the Almighty would punish someone on another person's behalf. It's blasphemous. Again, another piece of blasphemy. But this is our belief. Remember, our belief is pristine, pure, undebatable. You can't argue with it. It has no blasphemy in it at all. Let's talk about something else. If he was a son of God, or as some of them say, part of God, or some of them say, God himself. So God was crucified. What's going to happen to all of us? Allahu Akbar. And this is why we say that that is another blasphemy. To call him a part of God, to call him a son of God, to call him these names, that is all blasphemous to the real maker, the one who created all of us. Instead of saying, oh Jesus, you say, oh my maker, redeem me, oh my maker, forgive me, oh my maker, when I return to you, have mercy on me. The minute you say, oh Jesus, have mercy on me, there's a very, very big risk. I like to tell my Christian friends, you know what? You are either right or wrong, but I'm always right. I say, oh my maker, forgive me. Oh you who is the owner of forgiveness, forgive me. Oh you whom I'm going to return to, have mercy on me the day I return to. I have never taken a risk. The minute you say, oh Jesus, forgive my sin, you're taking a very big risk. Because even according to your own statement, you know in religion, nobody can guarantee anything. That's the beauty of religion. You need to have belief to believe. And this is why Islam is all about belief. And all religions are about belief. But you have to use your sense. You have to apply the common knowledge that Allah has given you. So you have to ask yourself, look, we need to believe. But believe what? Believe without risk because you live once, only once. So if you are to risk it once, it's over. May Allah forgive us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on us. Now you find another statement. People say, Jesus' blood was spilt for you. May Allah forgive us. As we said, it encourages people to commit sin, number one. Number two, it means the Almighty 
is more unjust than the tyrant rulers of today who punish innocent people. That is another piece of blasphemy. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors. I hope we have clarified a lot. So Islam says all this is blasphemous. We rise above all of that. We say Jesus was not God, nor was he the son of God, nor was he the part of a trinity, nor was he crucified. He was an honored messenger born to Mary without a father by the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the power of the creator who had before him already created Adam and Eve and who had created every single one of us. The power of the same maker created Jesus and allowed him to speak from the cradle and clarified who he was and gave him the Torah and gave him the, the Bible and told him to teach the people. And later on, he had so many miracles that were manifest with his hands that Allah had granted him permission to do and to show the people those who accepted were successful and those who rejected had failed. And then